singing and dancing is part of our cultures. We feel the goosebumps because that now that song touches you as a person when they come together and have one vision and one mission. This is the goal. Today, my name is Antone Gini. I'm the SA rep coming from South Africa for the deployment in BC 2023. It's been a very good relationship and uh, I must say the, the partnership that between uh, Canada and South Africa is a good relationship and the step that South Africa and Canada took to share these resources when the time of need. Your, our firefighters are so motivated and they're so happy to be given this opportunity to assist Canada with firefighting with our, our 200 uh, South African crew and we are seven overhead management. Yeah, it's been a great experience and honor to form part of this uh, operation. This year, this is the fourth deployment uh, from South Africa to come and assist Canada. The first three deployments, they assisted mostly in Alberta, and the fourth one now has moved up to um, British Columbia. And uh, what I learned about uh, British Columbia, you will find out sometimes it will be rainy. Back in South Africa, we know that it's rainy, when it's rainy, we know that the fire is going to run out, but here uh, can be able to wear the raincoat to go to the fires and then we still find the hotspot. Remember, back in South Africa, our fires, the, the conditions are not the same, are slightly different. Uh, so to speak of the ash pit, so to speak of when we are fighting fires, we have to dig at some point and to find the hotspot. But in South Africa, it's just the fires that are, are, are running on top of the surface. Yeah, it's mountain and uh, you know, it is challenging, as you can see, um, the terrain and the type of fuel. Yes, it is different with our, our fuel in our country. However, if you understand the firefighting, you will understand what is expected and how to go about. You see these young men and women, they, they, they enjoy when they're doing their activities, they're singing, they, they make sure that the environment is conducive for all those who are around them. We always sing when you go to the line. We always sing when we are at the camp. The reason being for us to give us the morale, give the energy to the people when they are down, because most of us, we left our family back home. So now, as, the, as we have the new families of our working on fire, so basically singing for us, give us that morale, that spirit, that we are still together. It just moved, it moved people. It's actually carrying us across this deployment period. Uh, if it was not because of singing, I, some of us would be having homesick. And it also brings some joy and also a, a kind of a spirit. So the singing uh, makes them keep encouraged, keep them enjoying doing their, their work and doing what they do at best. They're coming from all nine provinces of South Africa, as you see them there. The different languages and the but they, there's something common about them. The unity that is there and the cohesion that it comes with it, the connection, the bonding, and they, they become a team. Yeah, we are happy. We are really happy. So uh, I experience how Canadians operate in firefighting, how they do the whole setup. It's been a great partnership between the South Africa in Canada and I believe that for the fact that now it's the fourth deployment this means that the relationship is so good and very solid and we believe and hope that the next coming fire season South Africa as well will be able to come here to assist Canada. Good thing that to come from different parts of the world and come have one objectives and one mission it's been a great opportunity for our teams to be trusted with this responsibility the warm welcoming Canadians, the assignment that at home we were told to go and deliver and support the mission and the vision of the incident. And I think it's, it's been it's a good that we, we came here, we only not bringing just to fight fires. We say we're bringing peace, we're bringing a unity, we're bringing a, the, the light. We, we managed to build relationships with Australians, with a, a Mexican, and, uh, and we, we are happy that we are one of those that have contributed. And I think that we, we are grateful for that and we appreciate the opportunity that we've been given to South Africa.